Hi, Casper here on the 18th of September 2021. And um, look, I did a, a video tasting note on uh, another bottle of this wine some time ago. Um, but hey, I thought, why not do this one since it's my last bottle, alas, of this wine. And I'm unlikely, I think, to probably drink it any time uh, soon. So what is it? It's 2008 Merceau Chevalier from the firm of Boisson Vado. Boisson Vado really, um, its entire um, UK allocation is, is import, imported by one um, London uh, merchant. And, um, so, and the price has gone absolutely crazy for this domain. It's sort of seen a bit, a bit like in, uh, the new Koch jury, I suppose. Um, the wines of a particular style, and I'll, I'll get onto that as I taste it, but um, let's have a look at it. I mean, 2008, so, you know, it's, it's 13 years old now, but it's got a really healthy color to it. It's, um, it's pale, gold but still got green lights to it it looks really healthy in the glass and actually looking at it you would guess that it probably guess that it's a much younger wine you'd probably say five or six years old um this has been open for half an hour not decanted just left in the open bottle with a glass taken out really precise nose and there's some Slightly sort of vegetal aromas in there. Hard to describe, perhaps a sort of fresh pea, garden pea aspect and nuttiness that you, you probably expect. But really nicely defined nose. It's crystal clear, there's slight golden, delicious apples, quite a lot of spice in here as well. Yeah, it's got it's got richness, it's got density, it's got intensity, it's got definition to the nose. It really sort of uh, makes you wake up and, and really want to taste this thing. It's it's um appetizing through it all comes this lemon, real lemon crunch. A bit of sort of um Russet apple skin, maybe. It smells very lovely. Oh, that's good. Mm. I think I, I remember saying the last bottle I, I did a note on this of this one for, for which I did a note I, I think I remember saying that I wouldn't necessarily guess its origins that it was a Merso and I, I with this bottle I think I would I think it's got it has got quite a lot of Merso character to it but it's in a very particular um, style let's let's talk about that style a moment it goes in the mouth and you think that's got lovely richness to it. And then suddenly it's a phenomenal race of lemony freshness comes piling right through and with it tumbles this um, very sort of mineral, grippy, dry, um, sherbety sort of, when I say spritz, I don't mean fizzy in any way, but sort of spritzy acidity that fires it right through the palate, almost out the back of your head, actually, it must be said. It's, it's, that, that core is pure, pure le fresh lemon juice. It really is, and I can feel my salivary glands working overtime. I'm having to keep swallowing here so I don't dribble on the, on the desk. There's that nuttiness. Gosh, what this is, it's tremendously dense. There's a lot of matter within. The texture across the tongue is sort of um, granular, um, mineral, sort of, um, not, not really, yeah, sort of salted lemon character. And you could imagine sort of um, 
boiling up a bottle of this wine, being left with a pile of sort of glistening crystals. It's um, it's absolutely electric. I feel like I've plugged my face into an electric lemon. Actually, it's it's it'll be, you know it just brings so much vim and 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 energy to the party. It's um. I think this is even more, even more exciting and even more blindingly brilliant than the last last bottle I had. There's an element of um, almost sort of pine needle freshness about it, and there's maturity in it as well. It's gosh, it's got so much zap and vim. It's a uh, I've talked to other producers in Mercer about the wines of, of um, uh, Boisson uh, Vado. And they sort of, uh, the intimation is that they're, they're, as too, these wines are too acid, that there's too much acidity in them. I, I, I you know, I said it before, I'm a complete acid head when it comes to wine. I think it's, it's one of the, one of if not the most important component in, in wine to make it interesting and, and, and worth whatever kind of money you're going to pay on it and pay for it. And I, I don't know what this bottle is worth now, but I would say north, probably north of a couple of hundred quid. Um, but, do you know, it's, yes, okay, it's not something you sit around drinking on its own. It would, it would probably make your, make your tongue um, go like a, a dried, dried prune after a while. But with a bit of food, I mean, just... Sensationally incisive, um, vigorous, full of energy, uh, but density as well, and it's that density of mineral structure that that is left with the with the palate, along with this mouth-watering juiciness. It is the most extraordinary wine. It really is, and I can kind of see why. I can I can see why. Um, you know, these Boisson Vado wines have made a name for themselves and are commanding such high prices. However, they are, on this evidence, and I haven't tasted a range of vintages, I um, tasted a, a couple of other wines, um, they're pretty cerebral. I mean, they're not in easy pleasure by any sense of the, by any sense of the um, meaning. They are... You know, this is this is this demands attention. It's it's fizzing with energy. It's it's um it really is like having a, a, a dart of lemon juice and minerals and and that that um lovely fruit. Uh, the fruit always being secondary actually to the acidity and the, and that mineral expression, um sort of pounded into your into your face. It's it's. I find it delightful and and contemplative and um, really exciting. I've got to say, uh, I wish I had more. Um, I'm not going to go out and buy more because it's it's now massively expensive. Uh, I didn't spend a lot on this, but um, this this was bought from you know the at the beginning days of of its um, export to the UK and. Uh, yeah, I wish I had more. It's just electric, electric wine. Uh, anyway, there we go. That's been 2008 Merceau Chevalier. Chevalier Lieu d It's not a Premier Cru vineyard, um, but but from uh, the domain Boisson Vado in, in Merceau, and it's um, it's an extraordinary and exceptional thing. And I, I, it's been sitting in the wine rack, and I suddenly thought earlier on, you know, I, I really should drink this. Just letting it sit there until it. It, it falls over would be a massive shame but actually on this evidence I, I, I really don't think there's much hurry it's it's aging at snail's pace it's got so much acidity I'm not sure what the alcohol is it what is it 13 um, you know I think I think it'll keep on keeping on it's it's extraordinary Extraordinary mouthful of wine. I'm going to enjoy every mouthful. There we are. Um, yeah, Brasson Valet 08 Merceau Chevalier. Extraordinary thing.